Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're out here at the range with some Beretta pistols. This is my M9A3, which is the latest evolution of the M9 series of handguns. The US military is currently using M9s and the Marine Corps is using M9A1s. This handgun was developed as a handgun to replace the M9 and the M9A1, but the US military instead opted to open military trials for a new service pistol. I don't even think this handgun's in the trials, I don't know. But anyway, this is the latest evolution of the M9 pistol, and it has all the refinements. This is a very smooth shooting handgun, but the reason we're out here today is to talk about the M9A3. It's just to take a look at the latest evolution of the Model 92, but it's to take a look at an earlier generation handgun that's currently available from Classic Firearms. So let's do a little bit of shooting first with the M9A3, then let's take a look at what I have in my left hand coat pocket here. All right, here we go. Got a challenge steel target downrange there. That is just a sweet shooting handgun. If you follow the channel, you'll know that I'm a big fan of the M9 series of handguns, and this thing is the ultimate evolution of the pistol. But, let's see what I got here in my other pocket, and that would be a Model 92S. So this is a predecessor to the M9A3 and to the US M9 in general. This handgun is currently available from Classic Firearms for $319, which to me seems like an exceptional value. This is a police trade-in. The rumor is that these are Italian police handguns. Uh, they have been back to Beretta and been certified that they're AK, uh, A-OK, -okay, good to go. Um, you'll notice the finish will vary between handguns. It's a very clean example, has most of its original finish still in place. The grips look pretty good, a little bit of use or wear from use right here. But overall, the pistol is in really, really good shape. Looks like it was carried in a holster more than it was shot. Now, what makes this handgun somewhat unique is that this is a transitional gun. So you'll notice that the original Model 92 handgun had a frame-mounted safety right here. It would be much like a 1911 safety that you could push up and bring down to put the gun in safe, but it did not have a decocker. Police and militaries that were looking at this handgun said, hey Beretta, can you put a slide mounted decocker safety on the gun? And that's how this all started. You'll notice that this handgun still has the heel release for the magazine back here. So that's where the early 92s started off with a European style heel release. All right, so it doesn't even have the thumb release up here where the M9 does. So the first thing they did was deleted the safety here on the frame and put this decocker up here. This gun would later evolve into the Model 92F and then the Model 92 FS, which ultimately became the USM9 service pistol. You'll notice that the decocker does not have ambi controls. It's just on the left-hand side of the gun. So when you have the gun cocked, you can rotate this lever and safely drop the hammer, which does disable the trigger. And then when you put it up in the fire mode, now it'll become a double action first shot and single action follow-up shot. Let's do a little bit of shooting with the gun. Go ahead and chamber around and decock it. Again, it's on safe currently. And do a little bit of shooting at the challenge steel target. Now I'm go ahead and put it on fire. First shot will be double action. And it'll follow up with single action. Ah. Now what happened is the gun didn't lock open. It's using old surplus magazines and the springs are just kind of weak in them. So sometimes it'll lock open like that, sometimes it won't. But everything else on the guns work just fine. You may actually get one with a magazine that works. Now the differences between this magazine and the current generation is that this one has a hole cut right here for locking. You'll notice there are no holes cut up here for a modern thumb release. The good news is, is that Beretta on the Model 92 magazines for the FS and the and not the M9, but just the standard Beretta Model 92 magazines, which are still available, they still make this cut in the magazine. So you can buy new magazines for it. And I'll show you that here in a few minutes. All right, guys, let's take a closer look at this classic Beretta beauty and do a little bit more shooting with it this afternoon. So we're back at the bridge over troubled water, which is just a little shy of 50 yards away from our challenge steel target down range. I'm gonna take my old magazine, the original one that ships with the gun, and do a little shooting at 50 yards. 
with these rather rudimentary, very sparse sights. Dang it. All right, so it didn't lock open again, but we can remedy that. So I'm gonna drop the empty magazine out, lock it open, make sure it's clear just for safety purposes. And now this is a brand new magazine, which I picked up at my local gun store, Bly Sports Shop in Valparaiso, Indiana, this morning for about 35 bucks or something like that. It has the heel cut, so it locks in just fine. Now I have that little bumper on the bottom. But, the gun should function just fine. This is the uh, first time we fired it with this magazine this afternoon. And it locked open just fine on that 15th shot. So that's the good news. Whew, it slammed closed when I uh, just barely locking it open. Nah. Anyway, so it's working just fine with this brand new magazine. And basically, if you take a look at these magazines, they're identical. It's just the spring gets a little worn. This is what lifts up on the slide stop right here by my index finger. That's what lifts up the slide stop. So as it gets worn, the spring gets a little weak. It's just not catching it. So you can get new springs from Beretta to refurbish these old magazines or just simply pick up some new ones. Just make sure that they have that heel cut in the back of them. That heel release takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's kind of cool because I know that the old military classics use that type of magazine release. Now anybody can shoot 50 yards with two hands. Let's see how well this little Beretta, which I affectionately call my burrito, I can shoot with one hand at 50 yards. Ah. Two misses. Ah, dropped two shots. Getting lazy in my old age. Let's see how fast I can shoot two-handed with this old girl. Ah, I have to slow down. So, yeah, can't shoot real fast at 50 yards, but I think I did okay one-handed. What do you guys think? We found some of these disgusting little mushrooms out here on this log. So, what I noticed when I sat my gun down for some pictures is when you push on these things, they poof. Watch this. You'll watch a little plume of smoke come out here. <laughs> That's probably poisonous. <laughs> Let's break down the Model 92S and take a look inside of the gun and see how it looks as compared to the M9A3. So first you're going to drop the magazine out with the heel release. Make sure that the weapon's clear. And just like any other Beretta 92 series has the open top so you can see easily into the chamber. Go ahead and let that go home. Now with my index finger I'm going to reach up here and push this little plunger which is under spring tension. I'm going to push that in with my index finger and on this side I'm going to rotate the takedown lever and the two pieces just pop apart. Looks like a standard Model 92 lower to me. 
All right, gonna set that aside, invert the slide, take the recoil spring and guide rod out. This is an aluminum or metal guide rod. And then push forward on this little button right here. They'll push the locking piece up, or at least the barrel, and pull right out to the rear. Now you can also take the locking piece out if you want to, just simply by moving it out, pulling that little tab back and sliding it out. All right, so how does that compare to the M9A3? Well, it's pretty much the same darn thing. Go ahead and drop the magazine out. You'll notice that the M9A3 lacks the cut here, but if I grab a current generation Beretta Model 92 magazine, which I picked up at the local gun shop this morning, you can tell it's different from the original magazine because it has a modern base plate on it, but you'll notice it also has the cut down here as well as the cut up here. So you can still buy magazines for these Berettas, all right? They're readily available. All right, break it down. I'm gonna lock it to the rear. Look inside, make sure it's empty. Let it go home, finger on the button, push. Rotate the takedown lever and the two halves come apart. And you'll notice this looks just like the Model 92S. Now these guns are the same but different. This one has a polymer guide rod versus a metal one but it still uses the same locking mechanism. As a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do now, let's go ahead and put my Model 92S's barrel and locking piece back together here really quick. I'm gonna drop it into the M9A3 slide. And look at that. I bet I could probably even get away, maybe, because this does have a little detent here on the rear. Let's just go ahead and use the M9A3's recoil spring. Put it on there, put it together. And look at that, guys. So these guns haven't changed a whole lot. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and put it back together the way it should be. So let's just set the M9A3 out of the way here. And to put my M9, or I'm sorry, my F92S, all these model numbers running around in my head, back together, I just put the barrel inside, let it slide back, let that dropping block hit its recess, take the spring and guide rod, put it in, push it forward until it sets on that little shelf. Sorry about the sunlight, guys. And then just slide the two halves together, pull it to the rear. And as I pull it to the rear, I'm going to flip up on this takedown lever, so I'm just going to slide it to the rear. And now the gun's back together and ready to go. All right, I'm going to see if I can do a little bit better than Tim this time. There's 10 rounds loaded in this magazine here. Give it a shot one-handed at 50 yards. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. I thought you're gonna beat me, man. Evenly matched. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, it's time to tie things up and head home for the evening or the afternoon. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed coming out to the range and checking out my Model 92S, which again I picked up from Classic Firearms for $319. In my opinion, it's worth every penny. This is a simply beautiful gun. I think that um, you know it's a piece of history for 300 bucks, guys. And the nice thing is, is that it has parts commonality with the current generation of Model 92s, so you should be able to get spare parts for them should you need them from Beretta USA. Again, money well spent in my book. If you guys have any questions about anything that you've seen in this video, you can ask those questions down below. We try to stick around for the first couple of days after videos go live to answer the questions you guys may have. Also, please swing by and check out Copper Custom. If you want to support the Military Arms Channel, it's the best possible way. Again, that's Copper Custom. And if you haven't already, please check out Full30.com. That's Full30.com. Taking all the web's best firearms content creators and brought them under one roof. And again, that is Full30.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we will talk to you guys soon.